London, jolly old Whitechapel, jolly old London. Have you ever been to Whitechapel? I have, I have been to Whitechapel. It's not terribly far. It's um, it's not great. It's not a great place. As far as London boroughs go, you know, you can take or miss Whitechapel. Is there, is there still a train there? There is Whitechapel Station on the uh, Hammersmith and City line. Watch it. Oh my God! Give me a, give me, <laughs> give me a quit. Me mom and pa are dead. You should just distrust every child in this city. By the way, yeah, there are children in this city. I've tried to shoot them in the face. They don't respond. They're invincible. Oh no, the curse of the Bethesda. Yeah. And I, I mean, unlike Bethesda, you can't mod it to make fuck. See what I say when I say to stop parkour is sticky? It's like, I better jump up on this wall. Imagine if, like, GTA forward. had kids and they bethesda it. Like, you can't kill kids. <laughs> and it's just, like, GTA the most, like, the raunchiest game there is. Well, probably not the raunchiest, but the raunchiest mainstream game there is. <clears throat> and, like, you can't just kill kids. So this is a quick shot kind of tutorial, you just throw knives during combat. <laughs> What's with the pacing of Assassin's Creed games, though? Um, They're kind of bad. Well, yeah, it is kind of bad, but that's because they are terrible. They introduce tutorials so awkwardly, like, by the way, do you remember how to throw gadgets now? It's like, well, I'm probably not going to need to, but cheers. What, else what, was, what was I saying about Whitechapel was, yeah, I was um, shooting a film down there, it's near my university. And when I told my mum I was going to be shooting a film in Whitechapel, she said, oh, that's a bit dodgy, weren't there murders? She's referring to Jack the Ripper, who I think I'm safe from. Not on my watch. That's a bit dodgy. I'm a hundred years safe on that. That's a bit dodgy. <laughs> no, you never know. They never caught him. <laughs> they did never catch him. Oh, this game has a DLC about Jack the Ripper, by the way. <laughs> Why? Oh, they had to make a story campaign for him, and it's, um... Yeah, it turns out that he was an assassin. It was actually the Queen of England. <laughs> No, we saw the Queen of England. She's safely tucked away, being scared of the Templars. Not gonna leave her room. Two assassins. Equal in height. Who's this pretty brown boy? One male. I don't remember his name. All you need to know is he's Indian and he's an assassin. And that's important. It's me, the Prince of Persia. And you are Henry Green. Okay, Noonam. I remembered. His name is Henry Green. He's an assassin. <laughs> Now you see, he's gonna be the exposition guy for what the Templars are doing in London because these two chuckle fucks just decided to jump on a train and just start sorting it themselves. Well, thank goodness the council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Fucking Jacob looks like such a grease bag. Look at this. Oh, he is a grease bag. He's about to come out in full grease bag force, actually. Let's talk about the pacing of this game because the game starts off. With this guy running through a city and crashing a plane, uh, a plane, a train. <laughs> It'd be really impressive if he did crash a plane into 1860s Croydon. We'll have uniforms. But still, it's like it's it's like like 18 minutes in, you've already done so much, and it's not like it's Uncharted 2 where it like flashes back and like and then builds causes, to this point. Yeah, causes intrigue. It's just like there's oh, by the way, there's this guy, this bloke in England in London. He's, he he's on a train and he destroys it. No, no, no okay. So here's the fucking sub because we're an hour in now. So. Evie and Jacob Fry are trying to find a Templar artifact in Croydon. They do that, but Jacob is dissatisfied. He wants to go to London because he wants to free it from the Templars, because I guess that's the be that's the thing to do if you're a 20-year-old up-and-coming assassin who doesn't play by the rules. So he crashes that, and then we... That's an hour-long tutorial of him crashing a train and his sister decoupling a different train. They find the artifact, it doesn't go well, and then they just fuck off to London instead of saying, by the way, artifact in there probably should look into it. I actually legitimately have no idea what happened with that artifact. I'm not sure if I wasn't paying attention or if they just kind of go, eh, fuck it, it's just what we're after, but we'll let them have it. And that scene, Jacob just says, okay, I know how I'm going to free London. I'm going to start a street gang and we'll have uniforms. That was that scene. He was just getting really hyped. I'm going to start a gang. 
As in all the other and his sister was like, that's stupid, and Jacob's like, nah, but it's the plot, though. Built it Have you ever had place. Goose Ale? We will free London from Goose Ale? Yeah, that said, uh, Dwight Chapel Goose Ale, that, there was a sign. It's fry. I like it's ale, but I fun. wouldn't drink Goose Ale unless no. the goose is not an actual I goose. My shop and I, can bring you up I doubt it is, but you know, you know who just... I also hate? Uh, like swans? Geese? What's up with geese? Have you got a six minute long rant prepared for geese, or are you gonna have to save that for another part? You know, actually, Snake, I have a completely. <laughs> okay, those are leaps of faith. <laughs> that did not look believable at all. That looks deadly. Crack! No, that's always. That's been an Assassin's Creed staple, the leap of faith. That's the, fu that's the fucking Metal Gear level of ridiculousness. Remember in the start of Metal Gear Solid 2 where Solid Snake fucking jumps off of a bridge onto the tanker fucking miles below in his invisibility suit? That scene was really stupid there. But this series takes itself a lot more seriously. I don't know, have you, have you played MGS5? <laughs> takes itself pretty seriously. <sighs> okay, I haven't played all of 5 yet, but I know it, uh, it lacks some of the charm. Let's say. Um, what else? There's only one time that's ever been shown to hurt anyone. That's at the start of Assassin's Creed 1, where the Templars attack the fucking... the castle at Masayev, which is the Assassin headquarters. Fucking Altair dives... um, dives fucking off the cliff into a waiting hay bale to fucking show the Templars we ain't afraid of shit, and then it, you land, and you find an assassin who fucking smashed his arm at the bottom. This city. No one looks where they're going. Yes, I've noticed that. Bloody drood. He doesn't sound like a real... This, this sounds like some dude Only making an impression of a British accent. Oh, well, it is a dude doing an impression, you see. Who is it? Who is it? Who could it be? Who wrote Tales? Who's who is the guy? Who's the voice what actor? Odd. I don't know who it is. That Mr. Fry but anyway, is they just introduced the side quest. You can go to get collectibles for Charles Dickens if you want. Do you want to get collectibles for Charles Dickens? No. Okay, cool. We're not doing that in this LP commentary, whatever you want to call it. Might be able to use this. <laughs> Will you comment down below if you want us to do it? <laughs> you don't. You don't. I don't want to do it. Why interact with any historical figures? They're dead anyway. Here's the fun part about what he just did. Oh, we've been spotted by one member of the Blighters and he hands us a gun and tells us to steal a fucking carriage. Here comes trouble. So we also get to play as them at the same time, like switching Sonic Hero style? Mm, not exactly. Like, on this scene, you're just fucking on this. Can't leave, so Eevee's a non-entity. She's just like, hey, Jacob, this is really hype. <laughs> okay, do you want to know what's fun? <laughs> what? So if you kill civilians on land, the game goes... They, the main characters didn't kill civilians. If you do it again, we'll reset you. But it doesn't stop you from running people over en masse. It doesn't care if you do that to everyone in the city. <laughs> well, I like to imagine in the labs, like, someone was looking at you saying, Okay, you can't do this. Uh, this, this. This didn't happen. But then someone comes to you with an article. It's just like, actually, you'll find that Evie and Jacob did run over hundreds of people in a horse carriage. So it is history historically correct. It's possible that they did this. Maybe it's because we're playing a Templar copy, and you know they added this into the memories to make the assassins look bad. But no, I like the carriages. They're really clunky and awful, but I like them. What if, like, you Ubisoft the made a game, Who are all these people? an Assassin's Over Creed years, game, that was that had, like, narrative Splendid. illusions in it, that it, the player eight. themselves had to put together the real stands. story, because the Templars were mudding with it? Now, that would actually be interesting. That would be a gimmick that Ubisoft would do, but make it not very fun at all. You are not It'd be like quick time works. events, I, I bet you. I may have an idea of my own. Hit all the buttons to spot the, the right the series of events. Activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Abilene. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Okay, so 
Next you know time. you asked about the pacing of this Urgent. game and how it's terrible? Uh -huh. Well, what's about to happen is we're going to be made to do like several side quests as part of the main quest to advance. You would be wise to remember that. I don't want to do that. Well, we're going to have to. But you're not doing it. I'm fucking doing it. You're just watching. How about I don't watch you do it? Well, that's too bad. You agreed to this. Yeah, but how about you just don't do it? No, oh, it's too late for that. There's already five parts up, Noonan. Um, no, there isn't. There's only three parts up. Well, as of this, as of you hearing this, listener. Don't worry about me, Greenie. Well, maybe not though. A few thugs. <laughs> what? There might be four, five, maybe more. Maybe we'll cancel this at part six, deciding this was a bad idea. That's a ridiculous assessment. Why would anyone? What? No. Why would anyone go back and watch this while like part five is out? I rate this one star. So we got four hundred and eighty-five quid for that. I'm on a blow up mattress right now, Snake, and it's slowly, like, the air is slowly coming out of it. Yeah, it's a lot like me right now. I'm like, what the hell's up with this? Why is it coming out? This isn't a problem for the commentary. You gotta keep kayfabe. Don't drag no, people back to real is, life. This is a problem for the commentary because I'm getting uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. Actually, it is bad for the commentary because the air is going down. And I can't see the screen soon because it's in an planet? angle. Oh, oh my god, you crybaby. I am not a crybaby. Use your <laughs> legs. Snake. Use your legs. You've How? got legs. How dare you, Snake? How dare you call me a crybaby? This is a. Oh shit. Everything is happening and you don't care. We can switch characters now. We can play as Eevee all we want. We can play as Jacob all we want. The game says that Eevee's more stealthy, but it doesn't have to be that way. Snake, I'm having problems. Something is falling on my face. And you don't care. I don't care about Eevee or Jacob. So let's go do some side quests. Objective Conquer Whitechapel. We got a form our gang. They're called the Rooks. We're conquering white people? Well, kind of. This is another thing that's always been in the Assassin's Creed games, and it's kind of dumb. If you stand near civilians, it's called crowd stealth. If you stand near people, you don't look like an assassin. They don't know I'm an assassin no more. So I could just point a gun at them. Let me ponder the logistics behind this. People, like human people, have this innate instinct in them to realize if someone is an assassin if they're not among other people. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. Assassins always work alone, you see. So if he's if he's standing near the band, there's no way he could be an assassin because assassins can never get close to people. It's one of those things that made more sense in the old games where you wore a fucking uniform and you could blend in with monks. But now it's just like, people are just twats. Aw oh shit, there's a time skip scene. Look at that go. This is part of the loading screen if the mission has to take place at a certain time of day. So I'm going to be editing all of those out in future. That's just for reference. Well, we tried. I mean, sorry if you wanted to see more Big Ben. I may know a thing or two about that oh my God. fellow you're talking about. You see, we took a lot of inspiration from Monty Python for characterization. Blow the gaff. What? Did, 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 did he really have to do that? <laughs> well, you see, the joke is he's undercover. That's that's the joke. Aha, uh -huh, because such, such a ridiculous... Oh my god. Why? <laughs> that makes no sense. Well, you see, he's a, he's, a, he's a policeman, so he can't be working with the assassin, so he's got to look inconspicuous. I will give you the names of criminal what? gang members. You can't be seen being with the assassins. Quietly. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. A very hairy, strange old lady that looks a lot like a policeman. How does he look like like a policeman? <laughs> Is it because of his facial hair? Well, he, I, I guess all London bobbies at some point had to be over six foot and maybe had facial hair. I don't know about the facial hair point. I do know that all London bobbies had to be a certain height. So why are we playing as Jacob? Because um, I haven't changed yet. In his slab hat. What? 
What? What is this game? What is? What the fuck is this, Ubisoft? You can't do this. Look at this shit. It's ridiculous. Oh, is that character always going to interact like that with us? It's going to be in a fucking... I don't bed. actually know yet, Noonam. I'm not that far in the game. I haven't seen him again. Maybe he's a one-off. Maybe he'll come back. What if you had tried to shoot him? You know, I should have. Oh, look at this fucker. Homer Dalton. <laughs> We're gonna take him away from his mates. His level two mates. His I lads. love the fact now that Eagle Vision lets us see the level of human beings. Right. No one noticed. But let's whistle so he'll hear us. It makes a loud thud noise. How? But they... No, but the worst part is he heard me whistle afterwards and come to have a look. Ow, that's mean. I wonder what happened. The first time I did this mission, I actually failed it because I just jumped down, started a fight, and he ran away, and I couldn't find him. He just left, and the objective never came back. Oi! Shut your god. Shut your By the way, this counts as stealth. Look at that surrounding me. That means that because we're standing close to him, this counts as us being in stealth mode. So this doesn't look suspicious whatsoever. You gonna kidnap them too? Mate, I'll fucking kidnap everyone. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Help! Help! I love how these horse carriages are just GTA cars. Oh, they're worse. Um, how do you feel about the driving in Grand Theft Auto 4? I don't care about it. You don't care about it? Okay, you'll hate this then. I don't. I just I want. Mean, I, I, I don't. I don't mean I. As in, I don't care about it. As in, I'm unhappy with it. I literally don't care about it. I don't, no, I know you meant that, but I had. But I'd already decided on the point I was trying to make. I mean, they're horse carriages. It's not like. I just killed like 50 people. I don't. I don't just... Walk on, girl. What the fuck? How does that work? That is the best cop. <laughs> This guy deserves to win this fight. Oh, so all the cops do have really big bushy chopsticks. <laughs> it's a good thing he didn't fucking see us talking to that cop in drag, otherwise that cop would be fucking dead. Oh, he's dressed normally now. Okay. That was quick. So, basically, you also might have seen there... Like, there was a thing above our head with Triangle. This get, this series has been weird about how it's handled guns for a long time. Like, okay, you can parry attacks, how do you deal with guns? Before it was like, if an enemy was pointing a gun at you in Assassin's Creed 3 and 4, you had to mash a button to grab someone to use as a human shield. Now if someone's pointing a gun at you, you press Triangle, you duck your head a little bit, and the shot misses. Right, we're playing as Evie Fry, so this is an assassination side quest. So I just fucking get some health boost. I sped these up, but it's still too slow. Got lock picking, which is just for fucking collectibles. So is Assassin's Creed an RPG? It pretty much is now. And I got Eagle Vision too, so stealth is immediately broken, because now I can see all enemies even through walls as long as I'm in Eagle Vision. Eagle Vision... Also, this is another element that's been introduced that I might have talked about earlier on, but eh. Basically, it says, Kill Harold Drake, kill the target of a crate of dynamite. This is perfect sync, which is historically how things went down. So, historically, Evie Fry killed this fucker with a crate of dynamite. So, I'm gonna try and perfect sync this assassination. That guy does look like he, sh he would have died because of a crate of dynamite. Now, they didn't subtitle the conversation, but he's saying, Ah, have this crate, like, he's talking about his crates of dynamite, <laughs> which are just lying around in Whitechapel Market. Think about his lads, alright. His funeral, and they're like, he always kept talking about the dynamites, and he fought. He died doing it. what he loved, blowing up dynamite. It was a crate of dynamite, it blew up right in his face. 
He was a dynamite bloke. <laughs> there, wait, look. You see that fucking... You see that crate of dynamite right there? Poor fucking Harry, red crate. didn't see it fucking coming. He should have known. I'm waiting for him to go and stand near that dynamite. The reason it all sounds really fast right now is because I forgot to edit that out. Shit. <laughs> well, he's dead now. I'll fix that. I'll fix that in post. No, you won't. What do you mean you'll no, fix I that won't. in post? You've announced that there was a problem. Shit, you're right. Well. It's still happening, by the way. I know it's still happening. That's what what's is, concerning. What is this? This is me running away because you have to get a certain distance from the crime scene to succeed. I did it. I won. It sounds like like a weird soundtrack in a fucking postmodern fucking Victorian England movie. What the fuck am I doing in the future? <laughs> <laughs>